Algebra 1, number 3.11c. We're talking about compound algebraic expressions still, and we're writing equations for consecutive integers. So we learned in the last video that consecutive integers are found by a plus 1 or a minus 1 to the previous integer. And consecutive odd integers are found by plus 2 or minus 2 to the previous odd integer. And consecutive even integers are also found by that plus 2 or minus 2, but it would be to the previous even integer. Now, the reason I'm saying plus 2 minus 2 or plus 1 minus 1 is because consecutive integers are just in order. So it could be in order going smaller or going larger, okay? So there's going to be a link to the previous video in this description and other links to helpful videos, okay? So if x equals an integer, then x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 would give us three consecutive integers. So x would be the first one, x plus 1 would be the second one, and x plus 2 would be the third one. And we can combine, combine these like terms to get an equivalent equation. There's three x's, and it's plus 3. The 1 and the 2 equal 3. So 3x plus 3 would be that new equivalent equation. And if it said the sum of two consecutive integers, well, we know that x could be the first integer and x plus 1 could be the second integer, couldn't it? That would give us 2x plus 1 because we would combine the like terms, see? If it said the sum of an integer and three times the next consecutive integer, well, that's the integer, that's the next consecutive integer, so the sum of that integer and three times the next consecutive one would be x plus 3x plus 1, see? If x were an integer and we were finding consecutive odd integers and we wanted three consecutive odd integers, we'd have x as the integer, x plus 2 as the next one, and x plus 4 as the next one. We can combine like terms to get an equivalent equation for these three consecutive odd integers. And we'd get 3x plus 6. 1, 2, 3, x, and 2 and 4 is 6. See? The sum of two consecutive odd integers would be x as the integer and then x plus 2 as the next one. Because they're odd, we skip count by 2, remember? So that would be combined as 2x plus 2. That would be our equivalent equation. And if it said the sum of an odd integer and 2 times the next odd integer, well, there's our odd integer. That's the next odd integer because it goes up by 2. So if we had 2 times this one, the next odd one, it would be x plus 2x plus 2. See? That would be our equation. Let's try it for an even one. If x equals an integer and we want to find 3 even consecutive integers, we would do x plus an x plus 2 plus an x plus 4. Because just like these odd ones, they go up by 2. Remember? The consecutive even and odd integers go up or down by 2. So the same equation works for both of them, okay? So we can do 3x plus 6 for either one to find the next largest uh, consecutive integers as they're going up. Now, if we wanted to find them going smaller, then it would be x and then x minus 2 and then x minus 4, wouldn't it? All right, the sum of two consecutive even integers is just like the sum of two consecutive odd integers. It's x plus x plus 2. These would be the second even integer. So we have one integer, the next consecutive even integer, and that would give us 2x plus 2, the same as the odd ones. See, it's the same thing, whether they're even or odd. And look at this one. What if it said the difference between... 2 times an even integer and the next smallest even integer equals 8. Well, 2 times an even integer would be the 2x, and the next smallest even integer would be x minus 2. The difference tells us it subtractions, and it equals 8. See? So that would be our equation. See? All right, so in the next video, 3.11d, we're going to actually do some word problems that involve consecutive integers, okay? I hope I'll see you there. Bye.